Hybrid work is the new reality. According to the most recent survey data from enterprise technology research, CIOs expect that 65% of their employees will work either as fully remote or in a hybrid model, splitting time between remote and in office. Remote, of course, can be anywhere. It could be home, it could be at the beach, overseas, literally anywhere there's internet. So it's no surprise that these same technology executives cite security as their number one priority, well ahead of other critical technology initiatives, including collaboration software, cloud computing, and analytics, which round out the top four in the ETR survey. Now, as we've reported, securing endpoints was important prior to the pandemic, but the explosion in the past two plus years of remote work and corollary device usage has made the problem even more acute. And let's face it, managing sprawling IT assets has always been a pain. Patch management, for example, has been a nagging concern for practitioners and with ransomware attacks on the rise, it's critical that security teams harden IT assets throughout their life cycle, staying current and constantly staying on top of vulnerabilities within the threat surface. Welcome to this special program on theCUBE, Enable and Secure the Everywhere Workplace, brought to you by Avanti. In this program, we highlight key partnerships between Avanti and its ecosystem to address critical problems faced by technology and security teams, in our first segment, we explore a collaboration between Avanti and Sentinel One, where the two companies are teaming to simplify patch management. My name is Dave Vellante and I'll be your host today. And with me are Nayaki Nayar, who's the president and chief product officer at Avanti, and Nick Warner, president and security of, of the security group at Sentinel One. Welcome Nayaki and Nick. And Nayaki, good to have you back in theCUBE. Great to see you guys, thank you. Thank you, Dave. Uh, really good to be back on Cube. Uh, I'm a veteran of Cube, so thank you for having us and um, look forward to a great discussion today. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. Yeah, okay, yeah. hey, good. And Nick, Nick, good to have you on as well. What do we need to know about this partnership, please? So uh, if you look at, uh, we are super excited about this partnership. Nick, thank you for joining us on this session today. Um, when you look at Ivanti, Ivanti has been a leader in two big segments. Uh, we are a leader in unified endpoint management uh, with the acquisition of Mobileye. Now we have a holistic end-to-end -end management of all devices, be it Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, you name it, right? So we have that seamless single pane of glass to manage all devices. But in addition to that, we are also a leader in risk-based patch management. Um, Dave, that's what we are very excited about this partnership with, um, with Central One, where now we can combine the strength we have in the risk-based patch management with Central One's XDR platform and truly help address what I call the need of the hour with our customers uh, for them to be able to detect uh, vulnerabilities and being able to remediate them proactively, predictively remediate them, right? So that's what we are super excited about this partnership and Nick, uh, would love to hand it over to you to talk about uh, the partnership and the journey ahead of us. Thanks, Nayaki. And you know, from Sentinel One's perspective, we see autonomous vulnerability assessment and remediation as really necessary given the evolution uh, in the sophistication, the volume, and the ferocity of, of threats out there. And what's really key is being able to remediate risks at machine speed and also identify vulnerability exposure in real time. And you know, if you look traditionally at uh, vulnerability scanning and patch management, they've really always been two separate things. And when things are separate, they take time between the two. Coordination, communication, what we're looking to do with our Singularity XDR platform is holistically deliver one unified solution that can identify threats, identify vulnerabilities, and automatically and autonomously leverage patch management to much better protect our customers. So maybe, maybe that's why patch management is such a challenge for many organizations, because as you described, Nick, it's sort of a siloed from security and those worlds are coming together, but maybe you guys could address the specific problems that you are trying to solve with this collaboration. Yeah, so if you look at uh, just in, uh, at a holistic level, uh, Dave, uh, today, cybercrime is at uh, catastrophic heights, right? And this is not just a CIO or a CISO issue. This is a board issue. Every organization, every enterprise is addressing this at the board level. And when you double click on it, one of the challenges that we have heard from our customers over and over again is the complexity and the manual processes that are in place for 
uh, remediation or, or patching all their uh, operating systems, their applications, their third-party apps. And that is where it's very, very time consuming, very complex, very cumbersome. And the question is, how do we help them automate it, right? How do we help them remove those manual processes and uh, autonomously remediate, right? So which is where this partnership between uh, Ivanti and Central One helps organizations to bring this autonomous nature, to bring this proactive predictive capabilities to detect an issue, prioritize that issue, based on risk-based prioritization is what we call it, and autonomously remediate that issue, right? So that's where uh, this partnership really, really uh, helps our customers address the, the top uh, concerns they have in cybercrime or cybersecurity. Got it, so prioritization, automation. Nick, maybe you could address, what are the keys? I mean, you got to map vulnerabilities to software updates. How do you make sure that your the patches, are, there's not a big lag between your patch and, and the known vulnerabilities, and you've got this diverse set of you know, IT portfolio assets. How do you manage all that? It's a great question. And I, and I think really the number one uh, issue around this topic is that security teams and IT teams are facing a really daunting task of identifying all the time, every day, all the vulnerabilities in their ecosystem. And the biggest problem um, with this is how do they get context and priority? And I think what people have come to realize through the years of, of dealing with, with patch management uh, and vulnerability scanning is that patching without the context of what the possible impact or priority of that risk is really comes down to busy work. And uh, I think what's so important in a totally interconnected world with attacks happening at machine speed is being able to take that precious asset that we call time and make sure you properly prioritize that. How we're doing it um, from Sentinel-1 Singularity XDR perspective is by leveraging autonomous threat information and being able to layer that against uh, vulnerability information to properly view through that lens the highest priority threats and vulnerabilities that you need to patch. And then using our single agent technology, be able to autonomously remediate and patch those vulnerabilities, whether or not it's on a Mac, a PC server, a cloud workload. And the beauty of our solution is it gives you proper clarity so you can see the impact of vulnerabilities each and every day in your environment and know that you're doing the right thing in the right order. Got it, okay, so the context gives you the risks profile, allows you to prioritize, and then of course you can you know, remediate. What, what else should we know about this, this joint solution uh, in terms of you know, what it is, how I engage, any other detail on how it addresses the, the problem specifically? Yeah, so it's all about race against the time, um, uh, Dave, when it's how we help our customers uh, detect the vulnerability, prioritize it, and remediate it before the attackers uh, are able to weaponize those uh, vulnerabilities and um, uh, and have an attack, right? So it's, it's really is how we help our customers be a lot more proactive and predictive uh, and address those vulnerabilities versus um, before the attackers really get access to it, right? So that's where our joint solution, in fact, I always say whatever EDR, whether it's EDR or MDR or XDR, the R portion of that uh, R is where Ivanti comes in. Our neurons for patch management or what we call neurons for risk-based patch management combined with um, Central One's XDR is where we truly uh, bring the combined solutions to, to, to life, right? So the R is where you want to really plays a, a big part in, uh, in the joint solution. Yeah, absolutely. The response, I mean, you, the people, I think all agree, you're going to get infiltrated. That's how you respond to it. You know, the thing about this topic is when you make a business case, a lot of times you, you'll go to the CFO and say, hey, if we don't do this, we're going to be in big trouble. And so it's this, this fear factor. And I get that, it's super important, but but are there other measurements of success that, that you, you can share? In other words, how are customers going to determine the value of this joint solution? So it's a mean time to repair. Uh, let me go, Nick, and then I'm sure you have your uh, metrics and how you're measuring the success. Uh, it's about how we can detect an issue and uh, repair that issue. It's uh, 
reducing that mean time to repair as much as possible and making it as real time as possible for our customers, right? That's where the true outcome, true success and the metric that customers can track, measure and continuously improve on. Nick, you want to add to that, I'm sure? Yeah, I, you know, you make some great, great points, Naoki. And what, what I would add is um, what Sentinel One Singularity Platform is known for is automated and autonomous detection, prevention, and response and remediation across threats. And if you look traditionally at patch management or uh, vulnerability assessment, they're typically de deployed and run in point of time solutions. What I mean by that is that they're scans and rescans. The way that advanced EDR solutions and XDR solutions such as Sentinel One Singularity Platform work is we're constantly recording everything that's happening on all of your systems in real time. And so what we do is literally eliminate the window of opportunity between a patch being uh, needed, a vulnerability being discovered, and you knowing that you have that need for that vulnerability be, to be patched in your environment. You don't have to wait for that 12 or 24 hour window to scan for vulnerabilities. You will immediately know it in your network. You'll also know the security implications of that vulnerability so you know when and how to prioritize. And then furthermore, you can take autonomous patching measures against that. So at the end of the day, the name of the game in security is time. And it's about reducing that window of opportunity for the adversaries, for the threat actors. And this is a epic leap forward in, in doing that for our customers. And that capability, Nick, is a function of your powerful agent or is it architecture? How, where's that come from? That's a great question. It's, it's a combination of a couple of things. The first is our agent technology, which performs constant monitoring on every system, every behavior, every process running on all your systems live and in real time. So this is not a batch based process that, that kicks up once a day. This is always running in the background. So the moment a new application is installed, the moment a new application version is deployed, we know about it, we record it instantaneously. So if you think about that, and layer against getting best in class uh, vulnerability information from a partner like Avanti, and then also being able to deploy patch management against that, you can start to see how you're applying that in real time in your environment. And the last thing I, I'd like to add is because we're watching everything and then layering it against uh, threat intel and context using our proprietary machine learning technology, that, that idea of being able to prioritize and escalate is critical because if you talk to security providers, there's a couple different uh, challenges that they're facing. And I would say the top two are alert fatigue and then also human, uh, human power limitations. And so no security team has enough people on their team and no security teams have an absence of alerts. And so the fact that we can prioritize alerts surface the ones that are the most important, give context to that, and also save them precious hours of their personnel's time by being able to do this autonomously and automatically. We're really killing two birds with one stone. That's great. There's the business case right there. You just laid out some other things that we can measure, right? <laughs> Naoki, it all comes back to the data, doesn't it? We got to go, but I'll give you the last word. Yeah, I mean, we are super excited about this partnership. Uh, like Nick said, uh, we believe in how we can help our customers discover all the assets we have. They have um, managed those assets, but a big chunk of it is how we help them secure it, right? Secure uh, their devices, the applications, the data that's on those devices, the endpoints, and being able to provide an experience, a service experience at the end of the day, so that end users don't have to worry about security, don't have to think about security. It should be embedded, it should be autonomous, and it should be contextual and personalized, right? So, uh, that's the journey we are on. And uh, thank you, Nick, for uh, this great partnership and look forward to a great journey ahead of us. Thank you. Yeah, thanks thank to you. both of you. Yeah, okay, Nick, appreciate it. Okay, keep it right there. After this quick break, we're going to be back to look at how Avanti is working with other partners to simplify and harden the Anywhere workplace. You're watching theCUBE, your leader in enterprise and emerging tech coverage. <laughs>